Hi guys, so I'm going to teach you how to compute for the molar mass. The molar mass is the total amount of matter in a compound or in an element. So I have written on the board here the different molar mass of the elements that we're going to use. Now, for example, potassium, the molar mass is 39.10. Phosphorus, 30.974. Oxygen 15.998 Sodium 22.99 Iron 55.84 Magnesium 54.94 Sulfur 32.06 If you're going to look at the numbers There are two decimal places here and there are three decimal places here So we're going to use three decimal places so that it would be uh, we would ha have an easier time of adding the numbers okay look so i'm going to add zero here 39.100 is the same as 39.10 i'm going to add zero here i'm going to add zero here i'm going to add zero here So that we would have an easier time. I would add, add zero here. And that's it. We're going to start. First example of K3PO4. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify all the elements that you can see here. And what are they? First, potassium, right? Next, phosphorus. Next, oxygen. So, you have identified all the elements. Now, just write down the number of atoms of each element. K, you have 3. P, you have 1. O, you have 4. That is the total number of atoms. Then, you're just going to multiply it by their molar mass. By the way, the unit is in grams per mole. We're going to explain that later in our topic. So, so what will you do? Three times what is the molar mass of potassium? 39.100. And what would be the value? <laughs> It would be 117.300. So 117.300. Next. 1 times phosphorus. 3, 0. 0. 0.974. 1 times 30. 0.974. You will get. 30.974, the same, 30.974. Next, 4 times what is the value of oxygen? 15.998. But in your worksheets, it is rounded off. But for me, it is important for you to write the real number. So, it is important. Next, so you're going to multiply this. So what would be the answer? 63.992. 63.992. Then you're just going to sum it up. By the way, I forgot to write the unit. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. Okay. So you're going to add this up. 4 plus 2, 6. 0 plus 7, 7. Plus 9, 16. Carry 1. 3 plus 1, 4. Plus 9, 13. Plus 9, 22. Carry 2. 2 plus 7, 9. Plus 3, 12. Carry 1. 2 plus 3, 5. Plus 6, 11. Carry 1. 212.266. That would be the value or your molar mass.
for your molar mass of K3 TO4. So the next example is on the board. So identify first what are the elements that you can see. So you can see Na or sodium. Na. Next, magnesium. Next, oxygen. The next thing you're going to do is to identify the number of atoms. If you cannot see any number, that would be one. One. Magnesium, one. Oxygen, four. Next, multiply it. Multiply it by the molar mass of each element. Sodium, what is the molar mass? 22.990. 22.990 grams per mole. Next, magnesium. 54.940. 54.940 grams per mole. Next, oxygen. 15.998. 15.998. Eight grams per mole. Next, get the value. Twenty-two point nine. One times twenty-two point nine ninety is also twenty-two point nine ninety grams per mole. Next, one times fifty-four point nine forty grams per mole is also fifty-four point nine. 40 grams per mole. Next, 4 times 15.998 grams per mole is equal to 63.992 grams per mole. Just add it up. 0 plus 0, 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. 9 plus 4, 13, plus 9, 22, carry 2, 9 plus 2, 11, plus 9, 20, plus 9, 29, carry 2, 2 plus 2, 4, plus 4, 8, plus 3, 11, carry 1, 2 plus 1, 3, plus 5, 8, plus 6, 1, 41.922 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of the second compound. Okay, the third example is a tricky one. So you can see a parenthesis here. You're going to use distributive property in this kind of compounds. Let us first identify the elements. What are the elements that you can see? Fe or iron, S or sulfur, O, oxygen. So you have identified the elements. Next, get the total number of atoms. How many atoms are there of iron? So you have two. Two. Next, S. So this is the tricky part. We're going to distribute it. S would be three. Next, oxygen. Four times three is equal to 12. Then multiply it by the molar mass. So 2 times what is the molar mass of iron? 55.840. Here. 55.840 grams per mole. Next. So what is the value of that? So it would be 111. 0.68 grams per mole. My dogs are barking again. Next. So, get the molar mass of sulfur. Sulfur. 32.060. 32.060 grams per mole. Is equal to multiply that. 32.060 times 3. Get your calculator. And what would be the value? 96.180. 0.180 grams per mole. 
Next, oxygen. What is the value? Oxygen, 15.998. 15.998 grams per mole. So, multiply that. 15 times 12. 15.998 times 12. So, what would be the value? 191.976 grams per mole. So, just add it up. 0 plus 0, 0. Plus 6, 6. 8 plus 8, 16 plus 7, 23. Carry 2, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 9, 18. Carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 6, 8 plus 1, 9. 1 plus 9, 9, a 10 plus 9, 19. Carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Grams per mole. So that would be the molar mass of the third compound.